Welcome to, this is Fundamentals 1 slash Fundamentals 2, uh, Pilates 1. So this is the core posture workout. The reason why I'm saying both Fundamentals 1 and Fundamentals 2 is that even though it's easy enough for a Fundamentals 1 level, uh, there's some concepts in here that are very important when it comes to any type of training. So uh, about setting the shoulders and deep core or transverse activation. Uh, so I really encourage those of you who feel like you're at the Fundamentals 2 level to try this out. Um, quite often when we get more advanced, we really forget about really cinching in that transverse abdominus and maybe we get a little bit lazy with the uh, shoulder blade set. So uh, this workout will not only work your abdominals, but uh, will help you remember the, the deep transverse and the uh, posture uh, that is so important for everything we do, to, whether you're um, a beginner or an advanced athlete. So to start off, what we're going to do is we're going to start lying on our tummy. And um, I'm just going to show you what we're working on at the very beginning here. You're going to be focusing on the shoulder blades. When I'm referring to the shoulder blades, it's these guys right here. And the movement that we're going to do is first you're going to, this is, I'm going to be doing this lying on the ground. You're going to open up through the chest, and then you're going to reach your fingertips down. And what's going to happen is those shoulder blades are going to slide down your back. So first you're opening the chest, and then you're focusing on sliding the shoulder blades down the back. So face down, just place your forehead on the ground, or if it feels comfortable, you can slightly just lift that head into a small chin tuck off the ground. Let your shoulders collapse forwards. First movement, you're going to open up and then slide those shoulder blades. As you slide, I'm going to lift off the ground slightly. But the focus is in the shoulder blade movement, not in the lifting off the ground. The idea here is not to get as high as you can, just to lift. Think long and reach those fingertips away. Okay, so again, open up those shoulders, exhale, reach. Inhale, open up the shoulders, exhale, reach. I'm going to do five more of these. And release. Open up those shoulders, and then slide the shoulder blades down. Three more. Open up those shoulders, slide the shoulder blades down. Notice my head position. I'm still looking at the ground. We don't want you... Driving your chin forward, looking at the ground, nice long neck. Last one here, drawing the belly button up as we do this. And turn over onto the other side. This is going to be in a few steps, this next movement, an ab prep. But first we're going to do some chin tucks. So if you can see, all I want you to do is to focus on my chin here. My head is on the ground. I'm going to inhale. And on the exhale, I'm going to drop that chin into a chin tuck. And release. Inhale. Exhale. Now, as you do that exhale, I also want you to think about exhaling the belly button down to the spine. So I inhale, release that head. Exhale. Drop the chin. Draw the belly button in. Inhale, release. Exhale. Belly button cinches. Long neck. Let's refocus back on the shoulder blades now. Release the head. Just relax the head. You're going to inhale. Exhale. Fingertips slide. Inhale, release. Exhale. Fingertips slide. I'm very careful as I slide my fingertips down, I'm not rolling your sh my shoulders forward. So I'm keeping my chest nice and open. Inhale, exhale. Fingertips slide. I'm feeling those shoulder blades slide down my back. Okay, let's bring the focus back to the belly button. As I exhale, I'm drawing that belly button down to the spine. Inhale, release the shoulders. Exhale. I'm not shrugging my shoulders up to my ears. I'm just letting them release. Inhale, exhale. And inhale, release. Exhale, shoulder blade slide. Belly button to spine. Okay, now we're going to try to combine those movements. So on my inhale, I'm going to inhale, drop the chin, lengthen through the back of the neck. On my exhale, I'm going to shoulder blade slide, lift off the mat slightly, draw the belly button in. Inhale, relax. Inhale, drop the chin, lengthen through the back of the neck. Exhale. Inhale, hold at the top. And exhale, back down. Inhale, drop the chin, lengthen through the back of the neck. 
Exhale, fingertip slide, shoulder blade slide, belly button in, inhale at the top, and exhale down. Make sure you're not driving that chin forward. Inhale, drop the chin, exhale, fingertip slide, belly button down, inhale at the top, and exhale back down. We're just going to do two more. Inhale, drop the chin. Exhale, shoulder blade slide, fingertip reach, belly button drawing in, inhale at the top, don't let the shoulders come forward, keep them open, exhale down, one more, inhale, drop the chin, exhale, inhale at the top, and exhale down. Okay, now into the hundred. So this is going to be strange for a few of you, um, but the point of this is really to focus again on that uh, transverse abdominus. We're going to be inhaling on five short breaths and exhaling five short breaths. On the inhale, the tummy gets bigger. On the exhale, you're thinking about cinching sequentially that belly button down to the spine. I'm going to give you a couple of options on where to keep the head. So if you have any sort of neck issue, you're doing this movement uh, just in this position. Your arms are going to be pulsing and your head is going to be on the ground. If you feel comfortable, you're going to inhale, prepare. Drop the chin, lengthen through the back of the neck, and we're going to do this movement through here. So just start with pulsing the arms. Don't worry about the breathing initially. Set those shoulders down and back. Long neck if you've decided to bring the head off the ground. And now we're going to start with an easy inhale on five counts and exhale on five counts to the pulses of your arms. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Belly button to the spine. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three. If your neck is getting tired, feel free to release back onto the ground and just focus on the breathing and the belly button. We're aiming for 100. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Belly button down to the spine. Last two, three, four, five. Inhale, sorry, exhale, two, three, four, five. Last one. And release. Okay, now I want everyone to come into a seated position. We're going to do what's called a half rollback. So this gets you... Um, Ideally focusing just on the lower abdominal area. Hands are going to come forward. You're going to inhale at the top and you're going to exhale. Inhale, come back up. So what I want you to try and do is exhale and round through that tailbone. Really try to tuck. Only going down as far as you comfortably can and then come back up. Inhale at the top. Exhale. Inhale to come up. And again, exhale. Inhale, come up. What I want you to really focus on is releasing those hip flexors. Exhale. Inhale, come up. Try not to shrug those shoulders. Exhale. Slowly come down. Inhale, come back up. Exhale. When you come back up, you're still trying to keep that nice curve through here, not pulling up through the hip flexors. Trying to use your abdominals to do the work. Do four more. Exhale. On every exhale in Pilates, you're really thinking about belly button drawing down to the spine. Exhale. You're probably going to need to do this video quite a number of times before the breathing comes naturally. Then inhale, come back up. Last two. Exhale. Inhale, back up. And last one. Okay, I want you to slowly exhale all the way down, sequentially rounding through shoulders down, one vertebrae at a time, and we're going to do what's called a single leg circle. So you can choose whether or not you do this with a straight leg or slightly bent leg. What I want you to really focus on are your hips right through here, so where I'm tapping, those don't move. So we're nice and stable through here, but we're trying to be limber in the hip joint, so we want stability while working through mobility in the, uh, the hip joint. Palms are going to be up, shoulders are open, a little bit of a belly button drawing, 
gentle, gentle pressure of the um, low back into the ground. Lift one leg up. And what I want you to do is just to start a little easy leg sweep. So you're going to come across the body and then open up wide. Focus on what this opposite leg is doing. You should not allow the knee to wiggle at all. This is nice and stable. This bottom part here, here, and this lower leg is part of the stable part. It's just in that hip joint, which is mobile and nice and loose. So you want to try and stay relaxed right in that joint that's moving. Inhale at the top. Exhale through the movement. Ask yourself, is this nice and stable? Inhale. Exhale through the movement. If you feel any gripping in the sit flexor, soften up this knee. Shoulders are open and relaxed. Inhale and exhale. Okay, we're going to do 10, reversing the other way. So now we're going to go to the outside, coming across. So inhale and exhale. Inhale at the top. Exhale. Two. Inhale, and on every exhale, think about that belly button getting tighter to the core. Exhale. Inhale. Inhale. Exhale. Sweeping. What's your bottom leg doing? Are your shoulders open? We've got two more. It's okay to have a little bit of fatigue in that hip flexor by the end of the set, but it shouldn't be any more fatigued or the more fatigued than your abdominals. And you just relax that out. We're going to switch over to the other side. So lift that leg up, straight or bent, your choice. Shoulders are open, belly button is drawn in, low back is pressing into the ground. We're going to inhale and we're starting across the body. Across the body and sweep open. Inhale, exhale, come back up, inhale. Nice and stable through the core. Bottom leg is nicely supported. It's not moving. Only the leg that's doing the circles is nice and relaxed. Shoulders stay open. Two more. Now we're going to switch directions. Switching directions. Now I'm going out first. Inhale. Drawing that belly button in tight. Three more. Two more. Last one. Okay. Now we're going to uh, move on to working the glutes and hamstrings. I'm going to take my socks off just because this isn't a uh, super great yoga mat. You want to make sure that you've got nice and stable uh, um, position to, to take from, from your uh, hip bridge. So what we're going to do is you're going to go into a hip bridge. You're going to inhale and exhale. Push up into a hip bridge. I'm going to give you a couple of options here. Inhale at the top and exhale down. So the first one is just to focus on those hip bridges and really doing a nice, good, tight glute squeeze at the top and inhale, relax down. I want you to stay right there if you're brand new or you have any history of low back uh, injury. The first time you do this, I just want you to do those hip ranges. Now, if you feel comfortable and that's too easy for you, we're going to move on to uh, another movement. So if you're staying with just the hip ranges, I want you to go ahead and aim for somewhere between 12 and 20 reps on your own time. Uh, if you're going to the more advanced level, what I would like you to do is I want you to bridge up, hold that bridge, make sure your two hip bones stay stacked, lift up the opposite leg, and you're going to go one, two, three pulses, place that foot on the ground, leaving heel to toe, and then we're going to lift up the other side. Up, one, two, three, and switch, heel to toe, lift up. You want to stay control. You want to only come down to knee level when you do those pulses. Up. One, two, three. Heel to toe. Lift. One, two, three. Heel to toe. Refocus through the core. So that belly button still in. One, two, three. Heel to toe. Hips stay completely 
rock solid, not moving. Heel to toe, lift. One, two, three, heel to toe. So if you want to add some breathing in, you're doing three exhales on the pulses. Inhale when you place the foot down. Exhale. Inhale, replace. Let's go. A couple more on each side. One, two, three. Last one on each side. Last one, two, three, heel to toe. Okay, moving on to obliques. Again, your option here, if you have any sort of neck issues, is to do this movement with the head uh, on the ground, and you can just do um, the leg extensions that I'm going to show. If you are comfortable with your neck being off the ground, I would like you to inhale, drop the chin, lengthen through the back of the neck, exhale, come back up. Belly button in tight, and we're going to go opposite shoulder to opposite knee. We're going to exhale. So you do a quick inhale when you switch, and when you reach, you do an exhale. Quick inhale, exhale. Every time you exhale, you're drawing that belly button down to the spine a little bit deeper. Now, if the reps are a little bit too extreme, you can take a break anytime you want. Anytime you want, you just drop that head down and try to do just the extension. We're going to do 10 more. Keep those elbows open. Five more. Belly button down to the spine. Three, two, one. Very good. Last but not least, we are going to a uh, more advanced, what's called a breaststroke prep. I would like your hands, uh, you're going to place them right at forehead level. You're still going to inhale, set the shoulders down and back. Exhale, lift. Inhale, back down. Shoulder slide, lift. Inhale, down. I take it to a four breath, actually. So bear with me here while I communicate this to you. I've got a little cramp in my toe. That's why my toe is wiggling up and down. Inhale. Exhale, slide. Exhale, come up. Inhale at the top. And exhale, down. Inhale, slide. Exhale, lift. Inhale, hold. Exhale, down. Inhale, slide the shoulders. Exhale, lift. Pulling the belly button up. Inhale, hold at the top. Exhale, down. If you find that too difficult, you can go back to the first type of movement that we did, and it's the same movement with your hands to your sides. But if you can, stay with the hands right by the forehead. Slide the shoulder blades, exhale, lift, inhale, hold, exhale, back down. Three more. Inhale, slide, exhale, lift, inhale, hold, exhale, down. Inhale, hold. Exhale, down. Inhale, slide. And exhale, down. And push back into child's pose. And you've done your first basic Pilates workout. So you may not finish that feeling, that same incredible burn uh, that you may crave from a lot of abdominal type uh, workouts. However, Pilates is excellent in actually creating a leaner, taller looking um, body because you're really working those deep transverse abdominals. So every time you exhale, you're drawing that belly button in tighter and you're ending up with that nice corset, corset in her look, her appearance. So uh, try that a few times, see how you like it. And if you'd like to see some more uh, with that focused breathing, I can add some more on the videos. Um, as I move forward, I've taken out the breathing as, as much of a focus, but I'd like to bring it back in, but I need to know whether or not you're enjoying it.